Hey everybody, today we're going to take that stock Creality build surface and replace it with the TH3D Easy Mat. My name is Jim and this is The Edge of Tech. All right, like I said, we're going to replace the stock Creality Ender 3 build surface with a TH3D Easy Mat. And we're gonna do that for a bunch of reasons, but number one is because it's gonna give us better adhesion, especially in that first layer. We all want our first layers to stick down and this mat is awesome. A couple of things about the mat, it comes in a bunch of different sizes, so check out the TH3D website that I linked below and find your size. It's also a proprietary blend of polycarbonate on the build sheet and it's 0.6 millimeters thick for durability. If it starts wearing down, you can actually sand it with 100 grit sandpaper and it'll start sticking again. It also comes with genuine 3M high temp adhesive that's easy remove when you're done. So you can peel it up and it won't leave all that garbage residue that most of these sticky beds do. Also, you can pretty much use any major filament on this from PLA to ABS to TPU to nylon. So check it out because this stuff is awesome. Well, that's a lot about the mat, so let's do it. Okay, so what we got is our glass. I had it cut at the local uh, hardware store. It is the same size as our Ender 3 bed, which in American it is nine and a quarter squared. And if you're going by the millimeters, it's 235 millimeters squared. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take our glass cleaner here, and we're just gonna spray it on. Doesn't have to be a ton, but enough. Um, I used hairspray before this, so I really scrubbed that off already. Once we get that on there, we're just gonna take a paper towel and kind of get it cleaned off here. And the trick is, I don't have this on anything because it's a separate piece of glass, you know? So when I'm done here, I'm gonna have to make sure that everywhere I touched, is actually clean because we can't have any fingerprints or anything on that because that will affect the adhesive. So I'm gonna put my finger in the corner here, go real carefully. And you can put this on any glass bed. Um, I Or you can go right on the build surface if you want. I don't do that on the Ender 3 because a lot of them are uh, warped as we know. So I wiped it down really good Got it nice and dry. Go back over that corner. Then what we're gonna do is go ahead and take our TH3D Easy Mat, just like this. We're gonna take it and we're just going to, first of all, set and make sure it fits. And it does, which is great. <laughs> so my glass is the right size. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and just peel back one of the corners here. Just about maybe that far, so you can see that. So then I'm going to go ahead and carefully, without sticking that corner down, I'm going to go ahead and carefully just line this up and make sure we're completely in line here. Then I'm going to go ahead and stick that corner down just like that. So once we know we're going to be straight, which we're going to be, just like that. We can lift the back and we can just slowly, without touching the glass, slowly peel off a little by a little of the backing while you're pressing it down. And you're gonna go back and forth like this, kind of just keeping it, keeping it going and making sure we're not getting the bubbles. This is kind of difficult because the glass is loose. So, so as you go, like I said, just kind of work it. Maybe go back and forth. Just make sure there's no bubbles. Just like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hold this side so I can make it a little easier on myself. There we go. That's much easier now. So, 
I'm just going through, pushing it out, making sure there's no bubbles going on. And I'm going to slowly pour, pour some more out. Just like that. Maybe a little further. And if this is a glass bed that's already on your printer or something, this might be a little easier for me. I took it off because obviously you have the binder clips on the Ender 3 that hold the glass on and that wasn't gonna work. If this was a bigger printer with a glass bed already, this would go on like a dream. You didn't even have to take, obviously you wouldn't take it off the printer, but we're just gonna keep moving. Just like that, pull it out, keep working it, pull it out, almost to the corner here, go ahead and pull the rest of the corner out and just make sure we're all smooth here. I'm just going to look it over and see, it really doesn't look like we have any bubbles at all, which is phenomenal. I really suck at putting screen protectors on and that kind of thing. And I got to tell you, this was really easy to do. And there you go. Now we have ourselves a glass plate with the uh, TH3D Easy Mat on it. We can clip this right onto the Ender 3 and get printing. The only thing you got to remember to do is re-level when you put this on because this is going to change, uh, change the height of the bed a little bit. Um, but if you have an auto bed leveling probe or something, you shouldn't have that problem. You may have to check the baby steps, um, your first print or something if you have uh, auto bed leveling. But other than that, you should be good to go. And that's it. That right there is a TH3D Easy Mat for the Ender 3. And that was so simple. So now that you've got your glass with your TH3D Easy Mat on it, it was super simple to install as you just saw. All you have to do is take it, throw it on your Ender 3, grab your bed clips and clip it on. Something to remember is that you'll need to go back through the bed leveling video and also you may have to adjust your ZN stop because it's just a little bit taller than the stock uh, bed surface that came with it. So don't forget to do that or you might be crashing your head and we don't want that. With all that being said, I hope you learned something today. Check out TH3D's website and keep printing. Hey everybody, if you liked the video, click the like button. If you want to see more, click that subscribe button. And please, if you want to get notified when a new video comes out, click that little bell. Thank you so much for watching, and we love bringing the new videos to you. We'll see you soon.